In this video, I want to show you how you can easily create a tutorial overlay on your Power BI reports. We're going to go through these step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So a tutorial overlay is a way for apps or visuals to quickly show information to your users on what's presented on the screen. Usually how this looks like is a blur on the current view of what you're looking at. It will be a report or a HUD and it will show certain information like how to use and interact with the elements in the page itself or how you can interpret certain elements. So you'll usually find tutorial overlays on apps or even in games where you want to quickly show how things work, where to click or give an explanation without taking your users away from the experience. And you may want to have this option in Power BI, which is especially helpful if you have users that are not too familiar with the interactive elements of a Power BI report. So today I want to show you how you can easily create this in your Power BI reports. So let's have a look at this report that I built a long time ago. And it's a headcount analytics report that just gives a general overview of the uh, uh, people analytics within a fictional company. So you would have a split here of uh, headcount how it's grown or shrank over time, the different splits like gender and diversity, age range, tenure, and even splits by employment type. I have different pages here, like the starters, levers, and turnover, which gives you a breakdown of what it is in the current month, um, in the context of whatever month you have on, and how it compares to the previous month. So for example, we have the October 2020 selected. So what it means is that for October 2020, we had a headcount of 505 people with a 1% increase compared to September 2020. You can change the context by simply selecting a different date here. So if you change it to November, everything in the page will change. So the, uh, the, the summaries at the top, the charts at the bottom, and the tables anywhere in the page. You can navigate between different pages to go in deeper detail on the certain elements of uh, this headcount analytics. So for example, by clicking on the starters here, it will allow you to see a different page, which is just focusing on starters and seeing some information like where our starters are coming from, when are they leaving and how has it grown or shrank over time? We have different pages too, like levers, turnovers. But essentially you have these kind of in-page navigation that you can use to navigate in between the, the, the report itself. Along with that, as you've noticed already, we also have a few other interactive elements here. Like for example, you have the slider at the bottom, which allows you to change the uh, the period in which the headcount over time is looking at. So for example, if you want to just look at, let's say to a certain period here, you will see that that chart changes as well. Along with that, any visuals in the report itself, you can click to change the context of everything else within the report. So for example, maybe you're only interested in the full-time permanence within your uh, within your headcount. So if you select full-time permanent here as the employment type, it will give you the headcount for full-time permanent compared against the previous month, the breakdown of your full-time permanent, their tenure, and even the growth over time. So this is a good example of a Power BI report that has a lot of interactive elements within it. While you can just absorb and consume this report as it is, it can provide you with a lot more insights with the interactive elements that it provides. If you're familiar with Power BI reports before, you'll be familiar with these interactions. However, in some cases where your users are not very familiar with Power BI elements, 
you might want to have a tutorial overlay for your users to help them get acquainted with what they can do in this report itself. So let's start by first creating the elements that we want in this overlay. So let's start by adding some elements here for the uh, tutorial overlay. So first we want to have this effect of blurring out or creating a semi-transparent layer to put on top of our page, which we can accomplish, accomplish, which we can accomplish simply by creating a rectangle shape, something like this. So we'll create a shape that covers the whole page here. Under style, we will change the color to white and transparency to about 30%, something like this. So that will create a, a white layer on top of the, uh, the page itself. We'll remove the border. Uh, then next we want to add the elements that we want as a tutorial layer. So you can add things like images here or other elements to, to, to make this um, more interactive. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple and create some text boxes. So a good tip from here is to use the selection pane to your advantage. Um, we'll come back to this later and I did cover this already in a separate video, but uh, what we can do if you're having troubles kind of setting things up, like here, for example, I can't select uh, the shape because it's behind uh, the text box because it's behind the shape. Uh, it's not that easy. We can just hide the shape for now and then work with just adding the text boxes for our tutorial. So now that we have created the text boxes that we want for our tutorial overlay, and um, if I just re-enable the shape there, this is what we want to see whenever we want to show the tutorial overlay. Now it's time for us to organize this into a group so that we can easily find and hide or show them based on uh, certain actions. So what we'll do is we'll select all of the elements that we have created so far for the overlay and right click group which will group these into essentially one element so what will happen now is if i hide uh, this group it will hide every element within this group without us having to do it manually on all of them so to make it simple for us we'll rename this into tutorial overlay like this and that's pretty much ready to go. The next thing that we want to do is to hook this up into a bookmark so that we can show or hide the elements. Um, so we're gonna bring up the bookmark pane here. Uh, I have already created some bookmarks here, but you just ignore that for now. So for now, what we'll do is without the tutorial overlays, uh, with, it, with it hidden, we'll stay hidden. We'll create a bookmark here. Uh, tutorial we'll say tutorial off and then when it's showing like this you bookmark it and then we'll say tutorial on Tut tutorial on tutorial off pretty easy so the last thing that we will need to do is to hook this up into buttons so that we can show these on or off based on actions by our users so we can hide all of these panes now. We'll create a button. We'll keep it simple, we'll make an information button here. We'll say no background. Uh, let's see, and then from here, we can simply go to button under action. We'll say the type is a bookmark to turn on the tutorial when it's clicked. And then, so you'll see that if I hold control click, it will bring up this, uh, uh, this bookmarks for us. And let's say if we want, if we click anywhere else, we want to uh, hide the tutorials. So now I've selected this shape now, uh, which is the rectangle, the transparent part of our overlay. 
you can hook up an action there as well. So you turn on the action here, bookmark, and then tutorial off. I can see that the eye icon is on top of our uh, tutorial actually. So let me just adjust that quickly. So under view selection, just make sure that the button is below the overlay. So it's kind of behind the transparent layer. So that's pretty much it. So if you click anywhere in your screen, it will bring you back here. If you click the eye icon, tutorial overlay up anywhere you hide it. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a tutorial overlay for your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I need to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.